Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Representing in Multiverses. Today, we're going to be going over one of my most wanted from a series that has had zero representation thus far in the game. That being President, aka Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog would be an extremely fast character. He would have no issues making combos and he would be really quick on his feet. The only issue is if he whiffs, he would have horrible whiff lag. Starting off with his specials. Mr. Frog's neutral special will have him charge up a grenade throw. While he's charging it up, he can angle it up or down in a 90 degree angle. Once the bomb is thrown, it will detonate after 5 seconds in the air or after hitting an opponent. If the opponent is caught in the blast, then they will be stunned for a few seconds, allowing Mr. Frog to come up and start combos whenever he pleases. Enemies can mash out of this stunned state, but it is dependent on how much damage has been dealt to them. Mr. Frog's side special will have him eat a bug just like he does in every episode of his television series. The bug is a simple heal move that will allow him to gain 20 health back from his damage state. This move is on cooldown for 30 to 40 seconds, but while on cooldown, he will have a secondary move he can do during this period, which sees him eat opponents. Just like Jake or Taz, he can eat an opponent, but while they are being eaten, he can heal from their damage state, giving them damage and giving him health. He cannot move like Jake, and he cannot launch them out like Taz. They are stuck there until they mash out of it. They will simply just fall out of his mouth, and he will be stunned for a few seconds if they manage to mash out of it. For his down special, he will put down a presidential podium, giving his presidential speech. While that's on a 10 to 20 second cooldown, he will instead sit in a chair and proceed to be working with all those filthy um that was uh that was really bad if you know you know for his up special he will use his assault rifle to shoot downwards below him propelling him up if you hit the sweet spot on the bottom of the bullet trail it will spike opponents so definitely try to aim for that and use that as your spike, as he doesn't have any others. Mr. Frog will also have a special ability that some characters have, which will allow him to have another move while crouching. Bugs Bunny can bring out a sandwich, and Joker can shuffle his cards. Mr. Frog will also have a crouch ability. While holding crouch, Mr. Frog will spread toxic waste all over the ground. He can move slightly left and right while in this state to spread it more across the ground, just like Velma's grounded up special, it will leave a spot on the ground, maybe just a little bit bigger than hers. This will apply a weakened status on anyone that steps into the goo. However, Mr. Frog and his teammate are not affected. Time for a small break to talk about Mr. Frog's perks. For his first perk, he will have the Goblin Bomb perk. This will make the explosion double the size and go slightly further but he is no longer able to angle this move. His second perk is the Toxic Barrel perk. When holding Crouch, instead of spreading the toxins on the ground, he will instead drink the toxins and weaken himself. However, he will also gain double damage on all of his moves while weakened. This goes for any other characters that may weaken him during the match while this perk is active. Now that we understand the perks and his special abilities, I think it's a good time to go over his attacks. Mr. Frog's neutral attack is a chargeable throw. Mr. Frog will flip over a car. The car is slightly bigger if you charge it up all the way and slightly smaller if it's not charged up at all and well, anywhere in between. His side attack will have him grab opponents. Just like Iron Giant's grab, they will be stunned for a few seconds, but nowhere near as long. And if he whiffs, he will absolutely whiff because this move comes out frame one. So it's really fast. His down attack is a flurry of punches down towards the ground. This is a very good combo starter and will knock opponents just right up in front of him, ready to go. His up attack will see him launch a rocket 
out of his rocket launcher. He does not shoot this rocket directly up in the air. It is slightly angled 45 degrees in front of him. You have to make sure you're doing the angle correctly as once it reaches the peak, it will start falling straight down. So you could use this to ledge guard pretty effectively. The rocket will explode once it hits a player and never before. His dash attack will have him run forward at extreme speeds, flailing his arms all over the place. Again, this one is very fast and it has him go extremely far. So if you whiff, then you are whiffing hard. Time for another break to talk about his costumes. Of course, he will have his default costume, but for his first actual costume, he will have a chiseled variant based on his statues at his palace. For his next costume, he will have a president variant based on the episode where he was running for president. Next up, we have a puppet themed one where he will be a more fuzzy furry friend based on the April Fool's joke that they pulled this year. Then we have a hazmat suit so he doesn't get all toxic up during his toxic move. Then we have King Frog, based on his version from the season two episode where he's stealing a bunch of stuff. Not last and not least, we have an outfit based on Glep's appearance in the Mr. Frog episode, a Mr. Frog costume, if you will. And last and probably least is our sobered up Mr. Frog. Now, speaking of his tired face, Moving on to the aerials, where his neutral special will actually reference that costume. Well, sort of. He will spin a check in place in front of him. This is a 360 degree move, not too dissimilar to Steven's neutral air. However, the hitboxes will move around him instead of being all around him active at all times. It will do more damage though, and more knockback, so watch out. His side aerial will have him use his shotgun. The way this move works is the direction you are facing when doing the move, it will push you the opposite direction a little bit after hitting it. Just like Steven's side air in fact, but he doesn't have to hit for this move to do that. He can do it before hitting them. So this actually makes offstage interactions a little bit safer for Mr. Frog compared to Steven. I say that, but his down air is much, much more dangerous. He will charge his hammer with the mighty power of Thor and then slam down on the stage, smashing and electrocuting everyone in his range. If you are off ledge, he will just simply fall down to the bottom of the blast zone, killing him instantly. The only way to get out of this move once you've hit it is to either be hit out of it, or if you're lucky, you can slide over to the side of the stage and wall jump back to the top. For his up air, he will just simply flip the something bird something up in the air bird frogs and birds the birds and the frogs you know what i'm saying anyway that is my mr frog concept if you enjoyed definitely make sure you like and subscribe because you are not going to want to miss the next one here's a sneak peek hmm Hmm, yes, this will do nicely. You'll be awake soon. <laughs> That's right, I will be redoing Connie Maheshwaran from Steven Universe, and, well, we're gonna make it HD this time. So, definitely make sure you check that out, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye